Good morning from the Swiss Alps. We've woken up here with these magnificent views. We're here in the town of Brienz, and you can see the lake just behind me there and also the road which we rode in last night. So the plan for today is we're going to take that road back again all the way to Interlaken. Hopefully the shadow of the mountains will be gone in maybe half an hour, so it'll be a little bit warmer there. Then we're going to cross over the lake and head back into the Lauterbrunnen Valley, which is absolutely beautiful part of Switzerland there. There's lots of famous photos that you've probably already seen have been taken there. You might even recognize it in a bit. After we go to Lauterbrunnen, we might even stop for a coffee there. We'll head over to Grindelwald, which is a really popular ski area, but there's not a lot of snow there at the moment, so we should be able to ride in there without any difficulties. So it should be a really nice ride. Just going to see if Emma's finished packing up the room, because we're going to be leaving shortly. You all done, Em? Nearly finished just packing up the last few things, but it's been such a wonderful stay here. It's such a great location, especially with this view. I guess you're all wondering how much this costs. And this room is normally 230 Swiss francs. But we didn't pay that. We actually paid 115 for this hotel because we booked it through Hotel Card. Yeah, we've been using Hotel Card for three or four years now and it has saved us hundreds on hotels throughout Switzerland and the surrounding area. It's really a fantastic little scheme that they have. So you have a website that has hundreds and hundreds of hotels on it and you can filter by discounts. So there's 10, 20 or 50% and you can even book them on the weekend, advance or last minute. There's no rules or hidden like agenda behind the website you can book whenever you want and that's what we did we booked on Friday night to come on the weekend and got this hotel for 50% off yes yeah, some of them you can book directly and you get a confirmation instantly yeah. but a lot of the other ones when you click book it sends a request to the hotel and then they'll send you personally a confirmation and it's normally within like three or four or five hours so yeah. it's important to book it a few days ahead of the trip but what's also good is even if you haven't got the membership, you can go on the website and you can see what's available for the dates and when you're going to be there. But there's lots of really good hotels, even on the, the mountain passes yeah. and some great locations. We use it every time, basically. We travel in Switzerland, Italy and France, so we couldn't recommend it enough and we have used it for quite a few years. So the membership is normally 100 Swiss francs per year, but there's a link in the description which means that you can get it for 50 Swiss francs a year. So we are going to head off now on the bike because it's finally started to warm yeah, up here. The sun has just come over the mountain there and I think, yep, yeah, it's going to be, uh, be too cold. So. No, it's time for coffee in Interlaken. <laughs> Zero degrees. Zero. Zero degree. We've got the ice water. I've scraped the ice off the seat. That should be warming up now though. <laughs> Hopefully. Comes on. We've got like ice as well on the tank. So I think we need to take this quite chilled, relaxed ride today. Yeah. It's pretty dry though, which is good. Yeah. I've gone with four jackets today. <laughs> Looking like the original Michelin man. Oh, he's going heated vest straight away. Yeah. It must be cold. I'm going, uh, I'm going to go red today, I think. Maximum heat. Are you ready, Em? I'm ready. Let's go. Also, the reflection in the back of that looks like a sticker. It does, yeah. Was it left behind? I think so. Well, I'd recommend that hotel. Yeah, lovely that one. Pillows weren't the best, but come to expect that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was this, the standard European gigantic thin pillow, which does nothing. <laughs> Even after numerous efforts of rolling it back up again. What perfect location to be exploring this region. It is a good location, given that breakfast was nice too. Coffee was good as well. Coffee was good, loads of local delicacies, which is, is always nice to see. They even had homemade butter, which was impressive. Was it homemade butter? Wow. And yeah. the jams were as well. Right, this is the town centre of Brienz. The train, there's a train station here as well, so you can access everywhere quite easily. And there's a little train as well that takes you up the top of the mountain, the Rothornbahn. I think it is like a tiny little steam train as well, which is really cool. Hope to see that in the summertime. Yeah, but I think, here we is are. It he is yeah. it here as well that you can get the boat from? There is a boat crossing. 
Yeah, yeah the, the, boat, the boat docks there as well. Well, this is pretty much the town. You've got these lovely old Swiss chalet type buildings. There we are. This is the, it's like the old town bit, isn't it? Oh, wow. This I'm is guessing gorgeous. this hasn't changed in centuries apart from the, the road surface. Oh, the lake looks beautiful today. I bet it's so, so cold, like unimaginably <laughs> <think> cold. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks tempting. It does, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Like green. It is so, so clear. It feels like you're in 4K. <laughs> 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 yeah, 4K real life. Another village where every single house has the best view. They do, don't they? Lakeview Hotel, another originally named <laughs> hotel. <laughs> the water looks a very murky green in this lake. Today, I think the shadow has got it looking a bit darker. Was it? I think it's this lake and Lake Toon, probably both of them, is the submerged munitions left over. I don't know why they did I that. I remember you but, telling me something about that. Well, yeah, they, they basically thought it was a good idea at the time to just dump them in the lake. And I think half a century later, they're realising it's might be polluting so i don't know if they're working on a solution to try and get them back out of the lake but i'd imagine it's pretty deep down there yeah. deep and cold <laughs> deep and cold yeah oh this is a nice section it is i think we're only about five ten minutes away from interlaken you can actually take the train passes exactly this route pretty scenic as well. back in Interlaken and uh, the train station is just behind us there uh, this is Interlaken Ost or East where you can catch the boats to do little ferry tours there's even a little funicular that takes you to the top of the mountain there but well, we're just gonna head into the city center from here seems quite busy for a Sunday it does there's one of those lovely hotels we went past yesterday yeah. I'm pretty sure that's actually on hotel card. <laughs> that one? Yeah, but I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. But it's, yeah, 400 instead of 800. That's still yeah. a little bit of a push for us, to be honest. <laughs> but, we'll stick with our, our 50 to 100 hotel range, I think. <laughs> it is a really cool place. Oh, look look at this one. It's got oh, like wow. ginger, gingerbread shutters. So this is Main Street that we're on right now. And it's gonna 
come out to a big expanse now where we've got the park where we were yesterday where all of the paragliders and there's loads of activities there in the summer months it's actually somebody just landing right now <laughs> oh, it's a good landing spot it there is. used to be a ferris wheel there maybe it's only a summer thing but there's often a ferris wheel there i wonder if they have a patch here they might have a patch um, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. It might be your most expensive patch ever. <laughs> Probably. And also we've got the Grand Hotel here, which has been here, I think, for like over a hundred years. Yeah, that is pretty grand actually. I'm guessing when it was originally built, it was probably the only option in the city. Yeah. We're at the Victoria Jungfrau Grand. And the w most ugly hotel in the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the city centre is closed to vehicles, so we're going to skirt around today. Maybe we're better off on them. the front bit again. Maybe. Oh, well, I think we can park down the back of there. Should we experience, should we experience the Victoria? <laughs> That's what it feels like to fall off at the <laughs> Go, run, quick, quick. <laughs> oh, this bike parking down there was on the next one. What, back there? Yeah. Sorry. You're just making you practice your uh, slow speed maneuvers. We parked here. We did, we stayed at this place, didn't we, one time? Yeah. This is Main Street that we're on right now, here in Interlaken. Yeah, we've just parked the bike up and gone for a quick little walk through the town. It's quite, um, quite a strange little place. It is. There's either extreme sports people or outdoor activities, and then there's also lots of people that are here just for the luxury goods because there's lots of nice shops here isn't there yeah there is and it is a really nice place to spend an hour or so and then make your way where we're heading next which is to Lauterbrunnen yeah most people will take the train from here to Lauterbrunnen but we're going to take the bike of course and it goes exactly the same route as if you're on the train so it's going to be another nice little ride into Lauterbrunnen Hi, right, we are heading to Lauterbrunnen now we just stop for some fuel and the road as soon as if you come by the motorway way as soon as you turn off you're greeted with these little old chalets here which is beautiful isn't it yeah it's like the start of what are i think the two best yeah i'm gonna say it the two best there towns and you're greeted with that straight away <laughs> it's so imposing that mountain it is do you remember when we convinced my mum that we were going to drive over the top of it and put chains on uh, the car? We did, did, yeah. She, was, she wasn't best pleased, was she? <laughs> <laughs> I think she brought it up several times on the way if we, if we are actually going to do that. It's such an amazing range, this one. It is, isn't it? And a little bit later, we'll even see the Eiger as well. That'll be good, right. yeah, Grindelwald. Mm -hmm. This has all changed. Uh, the last time we were here, this road was being finished off. It looks like they're diverting the traffic away from that little village. That's nice. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? We're in the shade here. It's three, dropped back down to three degrees. Oh. See how we get on. We don't climb too much altitude. We do a little bit on our way up to Grindelwald. Yeah, Grindelwald Louder gates Brunnen, quite not so a bit. much. Yeah, Louder Brunnen's pretty flat, is it? It's in the valley. Wow, look at that one shining through. Is that is that the north face of the Eiger or the Vesla? I think I can't it's know. just the the uh, the mountain behind the Eiger. Wow. Oh, it looks amazing. sunny. It looks it sunny look over sunny. there. It's got a little bit wetter on the road, so we're taking it very carefully because it's down to two degrees. I think we should be turning into the sun now. Yeah, just where the shade was, it looked a little bit sketchy. Everyone's driving quite, quite slowly today, so that's not a bad thing. I 
it's quite it's quite an amazing road you're surrounded by the trees that are pretty much growing up to the top of the mountains and you're just riding through the bottom of the valley there's a river next to us with the water rushing down it's, it's spectacular it is isn't it yeah <laughs> there's the wall <laughs> the wall of ice <laughs> You know how people say you need to see Paris once in your life or you need to go here and, and I agree but I feel, I feel like you have to go to the Swiss Alps once. Yeah, Just once. It's priority. It is awe-inspiringly beautiful here. Yeah. It's, it's just magnificent. It is and it, it's a small enough country that you could even basically pass through in a day if yeah. you're on your way to somewhere. Like Basel to here on the motorway is two hours. Yeah. And then you could have an hour or two just to explore this valley and then you can move on. And then even Italy, I think from here is another hour and a half, two hours, because you far. the Gotthard Tunnel is not so far from here. I wonder if the waterfalls in Lauterbrunnen are either flowing or perhaps even frozen a little bit. Oh no, they're flowing, I can see them. Oh, are they flowing, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Lauterbrunnen being quite famous for its waterfalls. They're not like huge waterfalls, but there's there's several of them all through the valley. And when they when they have the big melt, in like maybe March, sort of time, the water is really flowing really quite strongly. And the glacier up there. Yeah, I think that's a glacier, yeah. Oh wow, it is really flowing. I don't think there's <laughs> going to be a big melt this year because it doesn't look like there's anything to melt. We're just starting to enter the tiny little town of to Brennan and we should be yeah. just able to see, there it is, the waterfall. Oh hi, yeah. I love to Brunnen, it's not the biggest of places, but it is it's very cute. There's plenty of hotels and restaurants here. But you can also get the train up to Vengen, which is another little village that's perched halfway up the mountain. We've done that a few times and every time it's been yeah. fantastic. Just past wow. my favourite cafe, we're going to be circling back to that. <laughs> oh, it looks spectacular today. I've never been here with so much snow up on the wall at the mountain at the back. Uh, yeah. And so little snow on the rest of it. Yeah. Here is the famous Instagram church. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. You have seen hundreds and hundreds of photographs of, I guarantee. I think the shot is from just over on that mound there. Uh, I think that's yeah. where people get it. There we go. I think I can get it on the GoPro, maybe. Gorgeous. So, so this road here now is a dead end. <laughs> yeah, it's the road to nowhere, but it is a nice ride. Although, if you want to do a little bit of gravel tracks, which is almost always not permitted in Switzerland, at the end of this road, there is like a hotel restaurant, which to get to it, there's a gravel track. So if you go there for, I know, pizza or coffee or something, you are permitted mm. to ride on that road. It's also a great place to camp. There's some great campsites here. Yeah. And it's not so expensive either. You just have to book quite far in advance because this is one of those places that just is always sold out. Yeah, that is true. Look at that! Feels like you step back in time as soon as you leave Does, the town. Not, not much has changed at this part. And this is the final little town in the valley is Steckelberg. There's actually a really good hostel at the end of this road. I think it is called is it Alpine Steckelberg or some Alpenhaus. 
but it's uh, it used to well it was last time I was there it was run by a British and Australian couple and again it was, it was really good value and nice breakfast there too and they had a campsite as well because there's a few really good hikes you can do from there so from the gondola that's on the right side of us you can actually get the gondola up to the Schildhorn, which is the Bond Mountain. Yeah, it is. It's, um, oh, which one was it? I can't remember now. It was the one with George Blazing being. It's probably yeah. people's least favourite one. <laughs> <laughs> but you go to the top and the, the restaurant turns. It moves. It's very cool. Yeah, the revolving restaurant at the top, that's pretty spectacular. I think the ticket to go up to the restaurant and back down, it's, a, it's about 100 francs, isn't it? Return. It's not cheap, no. It's, no, it's not cheap at all. It is spectacular up there, though. It is. I feel like we should do a few of them and then figure out which one's the best value for money. I still think it's first in Grindelwald, personally, because yeah, you can see the I think, Iger. Yeah, first to pay full price for is is the best value for one. Um, for people that live in Switzerland, we do have like a card that you can buy annually and it gives you half price on a lot of these. So yeah, I guess that's why a lot of the, the people that live here use them more frequently. And there we are. I think we'll turn around in this car park and then we'll go make our way back to that cafe. Time, it's time for your coffee. Whoop whoop. Okay. I love this cafe. It's one of my favourites. You do, don't you? Yeah. It's called Airtime, so I think you can yeah. book your paragliding experience there. It's run by a bunch of paragliders. Is that right? As well. That would make that, sense. <laughs> that wanted to live here, so they started a cafe. Ah, okay. So it's got a really cool vibe in it. Don't ride past it because it's easy to miss it's just here by the intersport yeah hopefully there's a parking space today i think there is oh and there's good seating that's it this is one of those coffee shops that i always come back to every time i'm allowed to run in even if i don't need a coffee the owners are so lovely and they do the best baked goods as well so we have two flat whites and some banana bread and i think we're gonna get a little sandwich to share and then we'll head on the road to grindelwald it is getting chillier and chillier it feels like maybe it's 
peaked at five degrees and it's starting to get colder and colder. Um, but today has been awesome so far. I do love large Brunnen. It's a must-see place when you're in Switzerland. So cheers for coffee. They're normally really good here. Mm. I also forgot to say when we were in there, the flat white prices are six francs 40 and the cakes were around five euros or five francs in there because loads of people ask in the comments how much the price is. So there you go. Not too bad for around here, but it is a bit steep for Switzerland that even to that standard. Steep, yeah. But uh, on bread was really good though. Yes, banana bread was great. Are you ready? Yep. Do this. Next up, Grindelwald, right? Yeah, hopefully. I'm getting a bit chilly. I need to do some like jumping <laughs> to get some warmth in me. I was actually getting chilly sat at the cafe without my vest on. Oh, you've got your front vent open as well. Of my vented, <laughs> my front vent of my vented <laughs> suit open. Fire time until next time. Yeah, off to go in the world now. And he did that coffee. I'm uh, rejuvenated. The cake. Well, had a shiver then. <laughs> it was like, it was like when you can't speak when you're about to have a sneeze. But it was uh, like a pre-shiver. <laughs> the heated vest should kick on in a minute. Oh, it's instant. It's on now. On the road back from Lauterbrunnen, uh, just well past halfway, there's a turn off to the right to Grindelwald. We've just taken that turn off. So we'll be in Grindelwald probably in about 10 minutes. It's not that far. But we will Gotta gain some out. altitude. Yes, that's right. Gonna gain some altitude in about probably about five kilometers. So Which uh, means it's, it's, well, it's already colder. got colder. Yeah, we're in the shade, it's dropped back down to two. The little uh, snow warning symbols back. Well, I'm oh, hoping nice the sun easy. is on it. Yeah, hopefully the sun has been on the road. Keep it dry. The grass is all frozen though next to us. The it is, turn. isn't it? It's looking a bit. Like, we might be turning around in a bit because that patch of road is actually white. Look at that. There it is. Um, spectacular, isn't it? how cold it was you can now when you see the sides of the road it's dropped down to one degrees oh it is getting a bit chilly every person in this car in their cars coming this way is thinking what are those two doing <laughs> they are crazy <laughs> thinking the same thing myself <laughs> in an hour maybe two the sun will hit here and this will all melt it's just because we're in deep in the valley maybe the sun yeah. hasn't touched more twisty section now where we're going to gain a little bit more altitude it's actually got warmer up here that's a bit odd huh. that's good though yeah i was having doubts we we're going to make it to grindelwald for a minute yeah though the road's dry as well yeah it's really busy with the traffic looks like Everyone's left the piece quite early because I'm guessing it's got super icy very quickly. They just haven't had any snowfall, so most of the piece is going to be artificial snow at the moment. Which is, uh, I guess, it's good for the skiers. When it's when it's icy, you've got a bit more control on skis. But the snowboard with your one edge, it's uh, it's not very good. No. Maybe we'll go for a day snowboarding if we get this second winter that they keep talking about, but. For now, it's just too yeah, icy. It's, yeah, it's not looking promising. The last year as well wasn't very good either. We're about to have our first glance at the Eiger when we head around this corner. Oh, it's getting windy too. Here it is. All just right. coming around this corner. It's coming through the trees. Wow, it's spectacular. <laughs> Some snow 
snow on the ground right next to us now. Just to the right, next to the uh, the river that oh, runs look at through. Those icicles. Oh, whoa! <laughs> colder than it was at the Nordcamp. <laughs> I think it was actually, yeah. And oh, the sun is here. We are in There's Grindelwald. A little, little bit more snow on the ground here. Interesting fact about the Eiger there is there is a train tunnel from the bottom has been tunneled all the way up. I think it took like, I don't know, 20 years to build. But you can actually take a train all the way up to the top there to the Jungfrau Joch. Um, it is spectacular up there. And I think directly in front of us now we have the Wetterhorn, which Sean and I did an amazing hike up near that one. And the slope piece here is called Manlichen, which has claimed my wrist and my rib. <laughs> <laughs> it has indeed, you have got fond and terrible memories of this place. I do. Totally worth it though, because you get to like snowboard underneath the Eiger in the shadow of the Eiger. It's just epic. We've actually been able to snowboard right down into the village. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Like... That last that last run from the top's epic, isn't it? Oh, it looks icy. to be here in January it is unbelievable. It is, I'm not sure if we'll get the chance to do this again but if the winters are getting milder and milder it makes for very long seasons. Right, and this is the town centre of Grindelwald. Quite a nice little town centre, lots of restaurants, lots of sports shops but uh, one of the big attractions you can do is take the gondola up to first it's called and they have like a skywalk around the cliffs it's all railed off it's, yeah, it's pretty awesome actually you just more like to a little glacial lake as well at the top and you can also do a few activities but this is the center now we're just riding through we've put a lot of work into this area recently it's had a brand new train station and a brand new lift put in it's looking fantastic some uh, good smells i can smell as well from the Oh, we can highly recommend uh, the hotel that's straight ahead, Hotel Spin. It has an infinity pool that looks out over on the Eiger. It is fantastic. We actually stayed in the hotel opposite when we did the R18 tour. Yes, we did. And this is the avocado bar, the Apre ski bar of Grindelwald. <laughs> <laughs> they actually have a half pipe in the garden in the winter time. I guess we need to lot. turn around soon. Yeah, there's a lot of snow on the road here. People looking at us and smiling like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, snow, 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 oh, ah, ice. Yeah. Device on the road. Hit it straight. Oh, and that's the end of the road, I think. This is that car park, yeah, where we did that hike. You can just about see where we hiked to. Ah, yeah. Can you see up there, there's a little, the little cabin. Uh, I can't quite see at the moment. It's directly 12 o'clock. Yeah. There it ah, is. Ah, yeah. Yeah, there's like a little hostel on the top of that mountain there. And there's it's about a three hour hike to the top, but it's, it's spectacular. And you stay overnight up there. That was a great experience.
Right, we're at the uh, top of this little pass here, this little road to the top of Grindelwald. Uh, we've got a bit of a snow wall here in the car park, but the roads are completely clear. It is such a beautiful area, we keep on saying it, but on a clear blue sky day like this, in the cool conditions, the crispness of the mountains is just breathtaking. Yeah, so I think we're going to ride back down the valley now, head back down towards Grindelwald, and then I think we're going to head up to Lucerne and make our way home there. It's still a nice ride ahead of us, but we'll probably jump on the motorway at some point because it's going to be a couple of hours back home and it's already late afternoon. All right, then one last glimpse of the mountains as we head back down into the valley. Absolutely spectacular. The sun's gone down now, so we can actually see them. It's like they're um, like zebra mountains with the little patches of snow. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. It's hard to know which way to look sometimes. The Eiger is so special though. These guys have had a good day on the mountain. It's weird to see skiers when you're on a bike, <laughs> it really is. But I'd say if you had to pick just one place to stay, one night maybe in Switzerland, I think you'd do well to spend it here. I agree with that, Sean. I it would be my, would be our first recommendation if anyone said, where should I come just for one day or one night? I think the fact that you can also do large Brunnen from a bus, you can get the bus to large Brunnen from here. And I think when you stay with the hotel, they give you a discount card on the. Oh yeah, they give you free. Yeah, it's free trans, free public transport, isn't it? With most of the hotels here, even the hostel gave us um, the public public transport card. Yeah, I think the other recommendation that I'd give, I don't know if you agree, Sean, but a lot of the hotels here. They charge an extra be 60, 70 pounds for like a room with a view out onto the Eiger or onto the the different mountains. Yeah. You spend so much time outdoors here. If it is like your make and break between whether you can do it or not, just take any room that you can just to be here. Because you won't spend any time in the hotel room. That's true, yeah. And most of the hotels here they'll have a view of some sort. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Amazing. We're just crossing over the train tracks and heading back onto that main road that links up with the motorway or takes you to Interlaken. And that's kind of the end of our little central Switzerland loop, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to start making our way home now. I think we've done well with the road conditions. Um, some of those were a little bit icy. There was a few spots of black ice dotted about near that car park. So I think we'll probably jump back onto the motorway for the most of the way back home. But I still think we have a little ride that takes us along Lake Toon as well. So we've got another, got another 20 minutes, I think, of nice scenery before we jump back onto the motorway. Yeah, 
it's been a great weekend and I cannot believe still that we got to see all we've got to see on a bike in January in central Switzerland. Yeah, it's been great, hasn't it? I am looking forward to a cup of tea though back home. We're just leaving the central Switzerland area and we're heading again in the direction of Thun and then Bern. We're going to be on the opposite side of the lake as to what we rode in yesterday. So yesterday where we went through like the caves in the rock, we're actually on the opposite side of the lake now. Oh, and we've just hit major traffic on this motorway. I think these are all the day trippers for the skis. Might be able to do a bit of filtering here. Also, I think you can see that's actually where we rode through yesterday, the little caves the road through the rocks you can actually barely see that there's a road from this side it's nice how they've like in um put the infrastructure in but not made it like very obvious that there's big roads through That's these true, yeah. no like concrete areas saying goodbye to the mountains one yeah. last look and hopefully we'll be back next weekend if it doesn't drop back down to minus 10. <laughs> yeah if it's a good weather we, we could come out next weekend as well probably should go to somewhere slightly different I'm not sure where i can't feel my hands <laughs> can you not feel your hands em <laughs> it has got it has got a bit chilly that that last 40 minutes on the motorway but it's dropped down to about five degrees but, but we're about five or ten minutes away from home now so not much longer to go it was a successful journey home in the cold the wind yeah, chill was, on was. the wind must have made it i think like zero degrees on a feel it was so cold yeah there was a lot of it thank goodness for these vests they've done great but, yeah yeah like i say we're pretty much home now so i think We'll get the bike put away, bring the stuff back upstairs and then get the kettle on, eh? And just like that, we're back home. It's Sunday night and we're having a cup of tea. It was the coldest ride that last hour. I yeah. really started to like feel my bones freezing <laughs> and my hands getting like super cold. I don't think I'd want to be in any colder than that on the motorway because the wind chill was pretty pretty strong <laughs> yeah in hindsight it probably would have been better with our outer layers on just to block yeah. that wind but to be honest considering what we're wearing we weren't actually that cold i mean the heated vests are essential and things like that yeah they are great they are one thing that every single time we use them we're like these are the best things we <laughs> ever got then <laughs> yeah. they ride back from from grindelwald that was actually pretty good it was getting a little bit slippy on that road there's lots of like mm. um it was quite damp and lots of like road repairs you know they put that yeah. the tar in it was getting quite slippy but wasn't anything to worry about too much. And then we turned off um, onto the quicker way home. It was yeah. nice to see the lake as well. Yeah, one last time. And then we headed straight on the motorway. Got stuck in traffic a couple of times, as you always do around Bern, the capital. And then it went dark and we came home. Well, you and... missed out a sunset as well. Oh, we, we did. We did have a good we? sunset. And it, it's actually a nice ride on the motorway back to Basel from yeah. Grindelwald because you get to take in, there's a second set of mountains. You see the Alps from i think they're the alps that are around lucerne oh, okay. you get a really good view of them on the motorway so that was nice so all in all it was not too bad to ride home no it was you a... got straight in the bath didn't you i did i was like <laughs> that point of cold where i needed to be submerged in hot water <laughs> Indeed, yeah. and uh, i had to go back out because shadow was covered in salt and yeah, couldn't really leave him no unless <laughs> i want to be one of those people that complains about corrosion but leave salt on the bike <laughs> Yeah. But we don't know when we're going to use him next with the weather being so temperamental, so we needed to put him away clean. Anyway, I've got roast potatoes in the oven for oh, dinner, yeah. and we're just going to chill for the rest of our Sunday night, and we hope you enjoyed this little video yeah. weekend getaway. I know it's not one of our big tours, but there'll be a few more of this style of video on our channel coming up. Yeah, and if the weather's good next weekend, we might even go out again, mightn't we? But for now, let's have dinner. <laughs>